Hello again, this is Ed and uh, I decided to make a new uh, video clip after I have readjusted the circuit breaker to show to you how is it positioned now. I hope that uh, this time I made it right. Uh, as a first glance you can see the circuit breaker uh, angle and uh, as you can see I have done so that by releasing the band around it, I reposition the, the condenser a bit more inwards and now it's pointing towards the, the first valve from the rear cylinder. And as I can see here, <coughs> I have the contact points in closed position. When this fiber plate here reaches the mark in the center of the circuit breaker, then the light from the test pen is going to flash. Uh, I also would like to, <coughs> to remind that, as you can see, the, the valves are in closed position, this in the front cylinder, and on the other side I have the flying wheel centralized. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the switch on the motorcycle so the switch is on then I'm going to show to you how it looks like when I film from the upper part so you can see the pan drive you can see the circuit breaker and uh, hopefully it's going to work in a way that you can see exactly the moment that it flashes so the, the test pan is off, I'm turning the grip when it reaches the, exactly the middle of the center hub here is the moment that the, the light goes on. You can see from different angles that is exactly the point that it reaches the center. At this very point the contact are opened, they are not in the highest point, which is 0 0.22, <clears throat> but it's the moment that they open. And if I continue like that until uh, it's totally opened, then you can see that the contact points reached 0 0.22. If I turn off for security uh, sake the, the switch, and then I measure it with the, the gauge that I have that shows 0 0.22 as you can see if I measure it you're going to see that it's exactly 0 0.22 no more no less I hope that this time I made it right I'm going to make just a last demonstration now I have the highest point uh, on the contacts, which means 0 0.22 inches in between them. And then I'm going to turn the spark grip totally outwards again. Then I'm going to turn the ignition switch on again. And then you're going to see that at this very point I don't have it in the center. It's a bit uh, towards the left side, the fiber plate. You can see that the test pen is off. If I turn it slowly, the, the, the sparky grip inwards, then you're going to see the moment that the test pen goes on. It's going inwards very slowly. There you go. That's the very point that the test pen lights, and as you can see, is just in the center, aligning the fiber plate against the mark in the center of it from the circuit breaker. And uh, I'm going to take out the light in here and uh, put some light on the front valves so you can see the state. It seems like they are in closed state. You tell me, please, if you if you don't agree. And if I go to the other side, just to show to you that the flying wheel 
He is in center position. I hope that the space is quite small here, but I, I hope it's going to be good enough that you can see the flying wheel centralized. There you go, it's centralized. So uh, please send to me your comments if you have some. I wait for that until I start the bike. I would like to make it right this time. And uh, I really need your support and uh, your comments. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.